So, okay, everybody. So the way that we run this entire thing is uh, Shecky and I are going to go over some content. Well, we're going to reveal the, pro uh, the predictable ad profit factory. It's a 12-stop process that our clients and our students have used. Now, if you're just seeing us for the first time is um, I've spent well over close to $7 million at this point on Facebook, really in the last 18 months, almost two years. Uh, a lot of our clients are celebrities, reality TV stars, professional sports teams, speakers, authors, um, some well-known online digital leaders, um, and a lot of small businesses as well. And what we found is if you're running paid ads, paid advertising traffic, there's some common denominators that if you follow some exact processes, it almost guarantees success. So what we've done is we've really boiled down our students, uh, and we also have, by the way, a training program that shows people how to run ads online. But after dealing with thousands of students and hundreds of clients, we've really boiled down these processes to something that we call the ad profit factory. And what this basically is, is we can quantify each step of the ad process. So you, the end user, the person running a social media ad, a Facebook ad, a Google paid ad, a Twitter ad, you know exactly, okay, what's my first step? What's my second step? What's my third step? How do I quantify each step? How do I know if it's real? Well, we work with people from five-figure companies, six-figure companies, seven-figure, um, eight-figure companies, and we have a nine-figure company we're working with, which is really a whole different level and very quite interesting. But this process is something that anybody can duplicate regardless of their experience level. So, Shecky, I got to tell you, like, out of all the time that we've worked with each other, first of all, I want to make sure, can you hear me okay? I can, and can you hear me okay? Here you great. Yep, great, great. Think, this is perfect. I, think perfect. I think we got to figure it out now. So what Shecky and I have found out is when we really boil down processes over the last 24 months. Now, keep in mind, this is for me, I'm, I can attend, uh, I'm invited to private mastermind events where there's very high net worth individuals that also have a lot of experience. Um, I speak at large events of people up to a thousand people, um, small events, 30 people. What we do is we, we, Shecky and I have spent a lot of time really talking over how can we help more people run more ads, more profitable ads. You know, a lot of people, they'll start running ads and then they just stop. And they don't know if they're doing good or if they're doing bad and they don't know where to grow their business. And Shecky, my number one rule is to never stop doing what? Never stop running traffic, always be consistent. Yeah, never stop running traffic and always be consistent. And we found some holes that we, uncover, that we unequivocally know that if we plug for entrepreneurs, you know, one of the best things that I love about paid advertising, just love. It really is a simple uh, fifth grade, it's a really a fifth grade uh, math problem. And once you can really design your life or your business around really quantifying next steps, this is where you can really start to scale your business. There is no guessing. It's kind of like I've mentioned on this before. Um, you know, Shecky, this is going to be a really difficult question. You ready for this? Shecky, what's two plus two? Uh, four. Were you confident in that answer? Extremely. Yes. You should be confident in that kind of answer when you're asked, hey, what's your cost per lead? How can you scale your business? It's really a very simple math game. We want to show you exactly where that where that rubber meets the road as well, too. So, Shecky, you and I always cover a topic list, but I'm going to pull that up. This is literally hands down one of the uh, most important trainings I know that we've ever put together. I'm not just saying just today, but the entire factory process. I know I've already been helping out students, personal students with it as well, too. Um, but you've seen this whole process before we dive into it. Tell me your thoughts. Love to know. Well, first of all, I am just super excited. I mean, this is kind of the culmination of a lot of different things that we've been working on. And it, it's cool because we are delivering a just a, a like the perfect template for somebody to go through and put processes to every little part and piece to their business. And, you know, as you know, Kurt, I talk to all of our customers and like you, I have the, the, the luxury of being able to speak to people all over the world. A lot, and yeah. it's really the favorite part of my job. And it's really interesting to see where people get hung up. And most times it's not that they, it's not that they are, you know, unsure of like what the entire big piece looks like. It's more like they're just not sure what that exact next step is or to make sure that they've checked and proven the previous step before they move forward. So it's usually something 
really, really small that's holding them up, you know, and then, you know, it becomes like this story that they tell themselves and this doesn't work and this didn't work. And, and when we really get in there and dissect it and, and to use your word, you know, like to kind of compartmentalize everything, it's usually boiling down to something extremely small and simple. And so what I'm so excited about now is that we've got this way, this process, this template to say, here you go. Like, this is what you do right now. Once this is in place and you can quantify it, and you can say, this is exactly what we're doing. Now you're cool. You've broken it down to it into this very, very small step. Now let's move to the next step. So what this is doing is eliminating any possibility if somebody just follows the steps of them getting hung, hung up on anything, anything technological, you know, anything numerical, and it also eliminates a situation where they're they're able to get themselves out of their own way too. So it's just huge, and I'm just really excited about that. Absolutely, Shecky. I just sent you over um, a link here real quick as well <coughs> to check that out. You know, I think okay. I may even just give away for content here in just a couple of minutes something that we uh, 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 gave to our bunker attendee weekend. Remember, you created this, which is a great step by step process, and this is really. Everything that we're covering over, um, you know, 12, uh, 12, almost 16 weeks. Now, I do want to be clear when we say, uh, I'm just kind of flipping through schedule real quick. Um, I really got to say is, you know, when we say 12 to 16 weeks, so many people, I was even talking to Nick about this today. He's like, look, people think, oh my goodness, there's so much work that has to be done. There really is. There's a ton of work that has to be done to get all this stuff done. That's why I take 16 weeks to teach. It actually only takes about an hour and a half to teach the processes. But if you really want to get in depth, even if we pay attention for 16 weeks, right? We go step by step. We start learning just a little bit more, right? Think of what you would spend in a semester of college or a full year at college or a four-year degree. This is something I'm going to show you how to really scale your business. And you're going to get recordings to all this as well. But this is something we've really broken down. So let me show you. I've talked about this enough. What is it? How is it? So I'm going to share a link that we have never shared publicly before. So I'm going to go ahead. Shekhi, are you good with this, by the way? Do you have any objections before I share this link? This is uh, this is going to be a really good one. You know exactly what I'm talking about then, right? Great. I think it's I think it's great. I mean, if you want to share that, I mean, this is like so this is literally a document that somebody could take and go out and build a seven figure business just from this. Yeah, and it's, yeah and it's not a, and it, it's not a joking matter at all either. And we'll supply this link to all of our uh, social media ad genius family members as well, too. And this, of course, will be in the recording. But the link you guys go ahead and click on it right now. It's down over on the right hand side. I'll explain what the profit factory is very, 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 very quickly. Now, what basically the first thing I want you to be able to really receive from us is everything in the Profit Factory works. I'm going to allow time for people to open this up, but everything in the Profit Factory works with four main what we call keystones. Now, we've already covered two, and the third one we're covering this week. But just as a reminder, these four keystones, the foundation to make this whole thing work is, all right, as long as you have a product, service, or message. We've recorded a blab and an in-depth training session on how to make sure that you're properly defining your message, product, and service. Number two, oh, it says ask for permission. Okay, let me give another link here real quick. Um, share, you are all gonna like this, I really appreciate it. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna do view, so nobody, uh, so we're not gonna be, so people won't edit it. Invite other people so only accessible, so give me just a second. Yeah, you just have to change the share rights on the document. Yep, but I got to make sure that it's only because I don't want to change it at all. So I want to make sure it's only right. view. So give me just a moment and I'm going to make sure anyone can view this link. All right. Let's do this. Now, you guys, when he changes those edit rights, you may have there to you close out your Google Drive and then go back in to be able to see it. So, mm -hmm. so try, that try that first. Now, let me know. Okay, great. It works. Good, good, good. Good, that bought me time for an amazing sandwich, a bite of my sandwich. It's great. It's yeah, been busy. And we got a great view of that nice Christmas tree in the background. It's pretty mm, tree. Perfect. Um, okay, great. So the foundation to make all of this work, four parts are what we call our keystones. Now, here this, here's what the keystones are to make all this work, and then I'll explain the document in a second. Number one, got to have a product service idea or message that you can monetize. We've done a blog and a breakout session to exactly how to do this. If you want to know how to get that information, let me know and um, 
Um, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. How can you get a copy of this? You have a copy of it right now. And this will be inside of our recording for social media at Genius too. So product, service, or idea, number one. Number, uh, number two is uh, the other thing that you're going to want to have is you're going to want to really clearly define your avatar, right? So you clearly want to define who your perfect customer is. We did a whole training on that last week. This week, we're going to go through the 12-step profit factory. This is going to be really important to go through the 12 steps. That's what I'm going to review on the document with you. Now, if you want to, you can download it. There's some great information there. We are going to be updating that document, but this is going to be a really easy training to go through, at least to look at it now. The fourth thing that we're going to go over next week is proof. So how do we make sure that every time that we do something, we can quantify it and prove it? You know, we have a little presentation we're going to go over on Wednesday called a breakout session where Shecky and I talk about fear. You know, what happens a lot of times is people don't know what numbers to analyze and they make up these stories in their head like, what happens if I spend $300 and it doesn't work? What do I do? I don't even know if it is, if I am doing good, maybe I should just shut it down. I don't even know. So let's quit. And the last thing we want to do is, the last thing we want people to do is to stop running traffic. But if we can show proof, if I can ask Shecky what's two plus two and he says four, great. If we can make this a mathematical, simple mathematical equation, you should always be able to know how you grow your business. I'm telling you, there's no other powerful other thing that I can teach or that empowers me as an entrepreneur to say, oh, what do you want to do in the next six months? Oh, you want to go to Greece? You want to hire three employees and you want to upgrade your car? Great. How much money is that going to take? Then we reverse engineer it. Great. Now we know how much money it takes. Now we can quantify your funnel. Now all we know is we know how much we need to spend up front and how long we need to wait at the bottom of the funnel to be able to collect your money for your goal. It's really quite easy, very much like a factory. So we have these four foundations, right? Now let's walk step by step on the factory. So those people that are logged in looking at the document right now, I'm just going to focus on the steps. So step one is to divine, uh, define your avatar. Now I'm going to quickly go across row two, like what you're going to learn. Now, again, what we're doing, just so you understand our content process, is every single Sunday, we release a new blog. Now, on Monday, we have a blab where we talk about that topic, just like we're talking about it right here, the 12-step profit factory. Now, every Wednesday, we have a breakout session. So if you want more in-depth information, if you want more in-depth training, that's going to be on Wednesday. And then all recordings are available to the public until Saturday. And if you're a member of the Social Media Ad Genius family or you've subscribed to Social Media Ad Genius 2.0, you will always get access to the recordings. See, what we're doing is we're building literally a 14-week training where we're recording all the trainings and we're going to sell it for $9.97. And anybody who wants to witness the trainings as we record them are welcome to do that once a week. Anybody who wants us to, uh, access to all of the trainings uh, can join the Social Media Ad Genius family now and get all the trainings for free, all the recordings for free, as we build the product and roll it out here uh, come February of next year. So here's step one, define your avatar. We covered this two weeks ago. What you're gonna learn is how to set up your first part of your ads. Establish initial control ad is gonna be the objective, and then action steps. What, what are my next action steps I have to take? So like with step number one, defining your avatar, we wanna install a core audience on any platform. That means defining, and again, you can see all the recordings of this in week one, What's the age? What's the demographics? So specific tax, uh, tasks and ideas. These are some of the things that Shecky and I are working on right now to give you step-by-step -step action items on each ad platform, how to properly define that avatar. Proof and tracking. Everything that we do in the Profit Factory, we want to have proof and tracking. Again, two plus two is four. Well, we can prove that because it's four. If we can track and prove each part of the funnel, it will overcome fear and allow people to scale more as well too. And we can have metrics tied to each step in the funnel and benchmarks, what we're calling the big idea. Now that is beginner, intermediate, and genius. So you're gonna be able to go at each step of this funnel, you're gonna be able to quantify and know, mm, am I doing this right? <laughs> am I doing really good or am I doing really below average? And what am I gonna do to fix it? What are the tools that we can give you to fix it and or who are the people that we can introduce you to to fix it as well too? So check this out. See, then we're gonna go to follow up next steps. What's the next step? So um, instead of going across each section, I'm gonna allow you to do that on your own, but please follow with me for each step. So step number one of the 12 step process is to find your avatar.
Step number two is to set up an audience testing. And that's really focusing on who's your perfect customer. So we spent a lot of time on that um, last uh, last week as well. So now what we're gonna do is, now that we've set up and we've identified, a, um, sorry, let me go back up. Now that we've defined the avatar, step number one, and really defined our product service message, now step number two, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start setting up our audience testing, meaning we're gonna identify audiences. We're gonna go to Twitter or LinkedIn or Facebook, and we're gonna identify the very specific audience that we wanna to start to target our ads. Step number three is we're gonna set up our initial ad campaign. So we're gonna run some split testing in what we call four separate interest clusters. And you can see that in column D that I highlight, column D, row three, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna identify my audience, I'm gonna start testing my audience, and number four, I'm gonna make sure, step number four, I'm gonna make sure in my funnel I have all of my retargeting set up. So custom audiences inside of Facebook or even Google is, do I have my email addresses uploaded so I can retarget them? Am I, do I have pixels on each page to track my metrics, whether that's on Twitter or on LinkedIn or on Facebook? Am I using custom audiences to properly follow up? Remember, step number four, over 45% of our revenue has been tied to retargeting marketing. So it's very important that you're setting up these custom audiences. Okay, now step five. Now we're gonna start taking a look at what we call the welcome page or prospects first visit page. Now, now that we've identified our avatar product and service and we started our targeting, we're gonna send them somewhere. When they land on that somewhere, what is that welcome page? Now we're gonna spend a lot of time talking about this in the next upcoming weeks, but I want you to think about this. This is really important on step five. I'm gonna spend just a minute on this. Number one is a lot of people um, they feel in marketing is, hey, I'm gonna send them directly to an opt-in page. They're gonna opt in, they're gonna look at my webinar or sales video, and then they're gonna buy. Unfortunately, gone are those days. Go back are those days of, hey, I wanna build a relationship with someone and understand who are they, what do they do, what service do they offer? I wanna be confident I'm making the right buying decision. You know, I'll share a, a really so small story with you is uh, when I grew up in Nebraska, you know, I grew up in a town of 2,500 people. And one of the things is my dad wanted to show me how to buy a car when I was 15 years old. I'll never forget it. Took me to the bank, showed me how to get a loan. And the banker basically just says, hey, look, to my dad, Galen. Galen, go pick out a car, whatever you want. Just tell me what you bought and just tell me how much you spent. And I'll write you a check and I'll just put it in your account when you come back. And I start walking out and I'm like, dad, we didn't fill out any paperwork or anything. He goes, loans don't usually ever work like that. It's just because I know the banker. Because I have such a great relationship with him, we can do stuff like this, but this is not typically how loans work. But it taught me a really important lesson, and that lesson very early on was, if I establish the right rapport and build the right relationship with people, they'll allow me to do things and build businesses that can last a very long time. So we're showing you the exact same process. Instead of just sending people to a landing page where they opt in and buy, we're gonna show you how to build a relationship. Now that welcome page and that, and that step, that welcome page literally could be step number five. It could be a video where they get to know you. It could be an opt-in page, but it's a page where you start that relationship. Now we're gonna be able to follow up with people with email if they opt in, but we'll be able to follow up with people the same way with email with retargeting ads if we focus each step of this process. So as I go quickly through this step number five, I go to step number I go to step number six, right? And step number six really comes into the follow up. How are we going to follow up with people? Um, how are we following up with our buyers? With our so you always want to follow up with your buyer, right? Very, 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 very important. You want to make sure that you're following up with your buyer to welcome him in, decrease refunds. But you also want to follow up with the people who did not buy or the people who bought and didn't buy the upsell. You want to have an email follow-up strategy, same way you have an ad follow-up strategy as well, too. You know, so many people will start the follow-up process with emails, and they'll stop after three or five days. Remember, very important, just because they said no to your opt-in or no to your offer, if you spent time with your product service message, your avatar, your targeting, your interest cluster targeting, you've already covered these four points just because they went to your landing page or saw their offer and they didn't buy or opt in doesn't mean they're saying no forever.
So we want to make sure that we have proper follow-up in email, but we also want to make sure that we have proper follow-up with retargeting. So we want to make sure is if we have a webinar and we sell something, for example, we are following up with buyers to congratulate them, welcome them here, right? But we're also following up with our non-buyers who didn't take us up on maybe our upsell. But we're also following up with people who did not buy to remind them that there's a limited time to buy at a, at, a, at a price, right? And then we tell people when they close out. Well, what a lot of people do is they're just going to offer them one product. That's it. And then they stop. And they've already spent money defining their avatar, uh, defining their or product service and message, defining their avatar, setting up the testing, running stuff to a landing page. They didn't sell anything. There's five steps into it and they just stop. And that's it. So the reason for the profit factor is when we look at step number seven, this is a content strategy. This is more along the lines of, okay, if I've already, if I've already attempted to sell something over five to seven days, and I, what should I do next? So we've helped develop a content strategy that a lot of our clients had used to where they're constantly following up. And quite honestly, is they're making an offer every single week and they're following up with their people almost daily. Now, if you have amazing products and services, amazing. I believe and I know we have amazing products and services because we received hundreds of testimonials. But if you are very confident in the product, service, or message that you have and you don't share it with the world, you're doing a disservice. You know, this weekend I was telling uh, Shaq, I may have mentioned just a little bit, you know, this weekend I had the fortunate uh, ability to hang out with, uh, I know the story isn't scripted, but I wanted to mention this. Uh, I hung out with a guy who has a YouTube channel, which is the second most influential YouTube channel in the world. So we're sitting, in, we're sitting in my, what we call the layer in the sky. We're looking out over the city and we're just talking. And we spent probably about five or six hours walking around the city at night, just having a great conversation around how someone at 33 years old, 33, can have one of the world's largest YouTube channels, most influential. It's GoPro, this guy's, and then you have Disney and MGM. Shecky, I got to tell you, it was absolutely amazing. Walking down the steps. And we were talking about changing in business philosophy and some new things that he's working on. We're walking down the steps and security guard looks at this guy and goes, oh my goodness, Mike. Oh my goodness. Oh, Mike, it's you. It's you. You know, I've watched your channel. I've told my wife about you. I've made a change in my life. I've told my kids about you. This is awesome. I can't believe Do you live here in Austin. And Mike's like, well, uh, hey, I, I tell you what. The guy goes, can I get a picture? And he goes, of course. And Mike goes, hey, I want to put a picture of you on the Instagram or on Instagram, and the guy goes, oh my goodness, yes, 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 please, 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 and takes a picture of him, and, and we walk away, and I go, Mike, how does that make you feel? And he goes, he goes, it's amazing that people recognize me like this. And I go, but you also have a responsibility. Hundreds of thousands of people know who you are. Whatever message you have to deliver to the world without you talking to your, with your, you know, your audience on a regular basis, he goes, I know, and I go, can you imagine how inspired that individual was that they saw you? I saw the chemicals react in their brain. Like I could see it in their face. They were excited. They were saying, hey, you changed my life. I've told my family about you. I mean, Shecky, could you imagine being in a business where your influence has helped change their life, their family's lives, and friends around them all by a couple of videos that you made on YouTube? Isn't that crazy? No, it's awesome. And I, I know exactly who you're talking about. And he's a great guy. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting for me because I'm, I know we kind of joke around about this, like I'm kind of the, you know, the Ed McMahon to your Johnny Carson, right? Yeah. So, but interestingly, you know, Black Box and our company does enough promotion and retargeting that I've actually, even to a lesser degree, have experienced this myself. Like maybe people have seen me in a video with you or they've been on one of the blabs. And I'll run into somebody in Austin. They like they, they. I have no idea who they are, but they're like, "Oh, you're Shecky," and I'm like, "Yeah." I mean, do I know you? And they go, "No, but I know you. Like, I was on a webinar with you, and and you know, you guys really taught me a lot. And I know you work with Kurt, and you know, and it's and I, and and then the next thing that comes out of their mouth is like, "I just want to thank you." Right. Yeah. So this is really. Um, it's a combination of sort of empowering and humbling all at the same time. I don't really know how to describe it, um, but you, 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 you kind of landed on a word that is really important, the word being responsibility. So, you know, I kind of want to put this out there to everybody Please. that's on this lab or anybody that's going to watch the recording later on in that when you have something 
and you know that you have a good product, service, idea, or message, it's definitely your responsibility to get that out there uh, because you have the opportunity to help people. You have the opportunity to, to change somebody's life. And you know what? You're entitled to make good money and good profit for doing that. That should become the byproduct of you being able to put good things out there into the universe. Okay, so I, I just want to encourage people to to get on board with this philosophy of taking responsibility for putting out your important message. And I think when you this is one thing I find for myself, because I'm always looking for ways to to motivate myself. And one of the things that makes it easy to get out of bed in the morning and do the things we do, even like, like, like you guys know, like I'm a baby boomer. I'm not, a, I'm not a super technical dude, right? But here I am on Blab. And it's sometimes, as Kurt will tell you, I get a little hung up on the technical stuff. But really what gets me out of bed in the morning is knowing that whatever those little wrinkles are, whatever, the bigger picture is something that we know we're helping entrepreneurs grow into the kinds of people that they want to grow into and create the kind of products and services and more importantly, get their message out there into the world. So, you know, that's so if you go down that philosophy of taking responsibility for that, it makes it very, very easy to get out of bed in the morning and it makes it yeah. very, very easy to step up and keep things going and keep pushing forward because you know there's something bigger than just yourself out there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just, you know, it's interesting because, Shecky, we talked about this just a little bit. It's kind of one of the things you and I went back and forth on. It's like, you know, so many people are afraid to sell, right? Like, I could imagine shelling, selling, I'm trying to think of something that's shoes. Right? What a boring thing to sell. Shoes. Everybody really needs them. How boring. Tom's shoes? He wanted to give shoes away to the world. So, yeah, it's kind of boring on selling shoes, but he found out a way to shoe or to put shoes on the poor and sell shoes and make money and turn it into a company in between. And then the money was just a byproduct. And then that philosophy just took off. Yeah. But it was by helping other people and by serving other people, which is great. So I know sometimes people get nervous of, mm, I don't know if I want to sell this. I don't want to, I don't know if my family and friends and people that I know, I don't know if they'd buy this. Well, then you either have the wrong product, you have the wrong service, or you have the wrong message. You know when you have that product or service or message that literally is like, hey, I know that I can really help people with this, right? And if you really believe in something, you're allowing other people to buy. But a lot of people give up along the way. Because they don't know, they, they give up because they don't know what to do next. And that's really the whole thought behind this profit factory is, okay, did you do this step? Yes. Great. Let's quantify it. Is it real? Yes. Did it happen? Yes. What can we learn from it? Great. Next step. Did this happen? Yes. Can we quantify it? Yes. Is there proof? Yes. Great. What do we do for the next part? Next part. So really, we can go step by step. So let's go ahead and talk. Uh, take a look at this. If we go back to... The Google Doc. And by the way, we got some people joining from all over the world. Again, thank you so much. Absolutely just amazed and humbled by the entire process. I'm looking where, where everybody's located right now, which is absolutely just great. And I uh, saw so a couple people that joined here for the first time on Blab as well, too. So thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, let's go ahead and take a look back at the Profit Factory. So uh, step number seven is the content strategy. Now, the content strategy is really a follow-up. You know, a lot of people will stop following up after they make their initial presentation. So what we've done is we've designed a way, a content strategy that's worked really well for us. So we're going to show you what the same thing is, but the moral of the story is you should have something every single week that you're able to send your list and to be able to retarget on. Whether it's a little bit additional content for um, uh, a little content you want to add to get people into your product, service, or message, great, but you should be sending your email and retargeting with ads in some type of content strategy. See, what we do is we'll put out a blab or we'll put out a blog that we'll email our list to. And what we'll do is at the bottom of that blog, we'll have a, a little blab that says, hey, join us for the blab where we're talking about the topic just like we're talking about it right now, right? Now, it's great to have a content strategy, but a lot of people, and I know, Shecky, you've heard people say this as well too, is people will say, well, I want to add a lot of value before I sell them anything. If you're not selling something, you're not adding value because you want to be able to train on something and you want them to be able to offer people something 
where they take that next step with you. And sometimes it's when they swipe their credit card, there's more of an allegiance that, hey, I spent money with this person. So I want to move step by, so I want to move to that next level once I've spent money, I've digested the information. What we don't want to do is we don't want to overwhelm people with so much content that they feel they have to learn a whole bunch of content before they move forward with us. We want to keep people moving forward. Now, to do that, people will buy for many different reasons. And sometimes, Shecky knows this as well too, sometimes people will look at our content, look at our programs or services, and it's not right for them, you know, the first month or two months. But sometimes six or seven months later, people will say, you know, you told me this one thing that really resonated with me. And then I decided to join the social media ad genius family. So you want to have the same thing too, that you're following up with people at least every single week, both through email and follow up with ads. I mean, really our content strategy, I'll tell you very quickly, again, has a, a blog to be that's written on a Sunday, a blab that happens on a Monday, a breakout session, a webinar that happens on a Wednesday. We're going to be following up with people the following ways through email, through retargeting ads, through Blab, because you know if you're following us on Blab, there's a little notification that gets posted um, on your computer, right? That comes up and says, "Hey, we're live on Blab." So that's a that's another way for you to get notified. And also, if you're following me on Periscope, or if you run a Periscope, now there's a push notification to your phone every time I start a Periscope. So if I'm emailing, retargeting, running a Blab, running a Periscope, I am sh I'm showing up on your mobile phone in multiple different locations. I'm showing up in your email. I'm showing up on your computer desktop. So it's a lot of different places where you're going to see me and checking where people should be seeing your face and your brand on a regular basis. So if I move to, uh, to step number eight, here's essentially what's going to happen is once we figure out, okay, we're going to have, we're going to have, uh, some type of, uh, we're going to have some type of content strategy and that content strategy is going to have to have a weekly event. Now the event can be a sale. It can be a webinar. It can be a podcast, but something you're going to do every single week that you can build for. Remember one of the things that you always want to remember, write this down. Very important. You want to build for the next event. So build for the next event. So that could be, if we have a blab today, which we do, I'm going to tell you, Hey, if you want to find out more training and more in-depth information, make sure you register for our breakout session that works that, that starts on Wednesday. Shecky, if you don't mind, can you put the link in there for me for the breakout session for Wednesday? Uh, <clears throat> I know what it, I, I think I know what it is, but it was my mouth and my fingers working at the same time. You can put that in there. So we always have a call to action. Now on Wednesday, the call to action is, Hey, look, you're going to get this recording as a public for free until Saturday at midnight. If you're a part of social media ad genius and our social media ad genius family, you will always have access to the breakout session recordings. See, I always have a call to action. So my call to action from the blab is, or from like our blog is join our blab. When you get to our blab, the call to action is, hey, make sure you go over to our breakout session on Wednesday so you can learn more in-depth information. You can register for that webinar right on the, over on the right-hand side. Now, on the webinar, our call to action is, hey, if you would like to get in-depth training in hand-holding, join our social media ad genius family. So for the general public, they're going to see our content all week long through emails, mobile updates, text messages, all of that, which is great. And then people will decide along the way when they want to join. But what happens is, is as I'm running cold traffic in, remember we follow all these other steps, um, we follow all these other steps before step number eight. If like Shecky said at the very beginning, if we're always running traffic, now this starts to snowball. Every week your periscopes get a little bit bigger. Every week your blabs get a little bit bigger. Every week your, blo your blogs get a little bit bigger. And as you're adding more cold traffic in, this email retargeting, this uh, mobile retargeting, this blab retargeting, this periscope retargeting, all of a sudden people start seeing your brand. And Shecky will say the exact same thing like you mentioned before. And I love it. Like it's flattering, but I know that I'm making a difference is I'll walk through the airport and people, this is the greatest thing, this guy, I don't know if he was thought I was hired of hearing or what it was, but he's like, Kurt, Kurt Molly, it's you. Oh my goodness, I love your training. And all these people's heads turned and I'm like, oh, this is awesome. This is one of the greatest feelings. But he was excited because he saw me in real life, but it was just from the content that we've been giving over and over. And you wanna be able to give your customers that type of experience as well too. So if I run back to the checklist, so now I have a weekly event that I'm building for, right? Now, number nine, I've kind of already given away. You, you got to have a weekly call to action. Now, again, that can be a sale. That can be, hey, check out 
Shecky's new product he came out with. So every single week, I am providing content for our audience, whether it's organic cold traffic or whether it's people already on our email list or retargeting list. I'm providing content every single week for people to take action on. Now, for our internal community members, I'm answering even more questions. But every single week, people have a call to action to either, hey, join our family or listen to the recordings if you're already a part of our family. Or maybe I have a special friend or expert in the industry that I interview, and they may have a tool, product, service, or message that you could use for your business. But every single week, I'm going to have a call to action. There is not going to be a time where I don't have a call to action. Now, one small important part of this is pretty much like what you're seeing in our 12 to 16 weeks that we're doing this. Every week, we have a call to action. Now, every week, a lot of our calls to action are, hey, if you're not a pro, uh, 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 if you are not a part of our social media ad genius family, join us. That's it. It's about five minutes. I'll tell you about it at the end of this as well, too. But every single week, we're presenting and talking about social media ad genius. But our content is all free, right, on this side. And if you want the really in-depth analysis, that's when you join the webinar. And if you really want the push-button training, how to do everything and be inside of a community where you can ask questions on a regular basis on how this works, how to scale your ads, that's all on the other side and the inside of the family. So we'll change the presentation just a little bit, but we add content. So every week we have this call to action, whether it's to join our social media ad genius family or to join one of our partners. But it's always to take action and move forward with your business. I mean, Shecky, we've talked about this many times before. So, uh, you know, Steve Jobs said this, sometimes you don't know where the dots lead until you look back. What I know is I know what dots are required to be followed in what process to return a positive ROI from your ad spend. I know exactly what's required. And I know exactly that a lot of people are scared because they don't know their numbers, so they stop or they don't know if their numbers are good or bad, or they're not following up properly with their customers, or they kind of have an idea what they're doing, but they may stop the uh, initial traffic process while they work on their funnel, and then they work on their follow-up. But then you're stopping everything, and it kind of dies like a plant. It's like you're no longer watering the plant, so it can't keep growing. We always want to be running traffic. So if you take a look at step number 10, well, it's pretty easy. If you have a weekly call to action, follow up. Again, you're going to follow up with buyers. You're going to follow up with non-buyers. You're going to follow up with people who just went to your landing page but didn't opt in this week for the webinar or the blab or who only went to your blog article and didn't opt in. We are always going to be following up with people and making sure that we're following up again. Email, retargeting, whether that's Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn, Google, right? Depends on how you want to set that up. And we want to make sure that we're re-following up in other alternatives, uh, mediums as well, like Blab so, or Periscope where it's gonna show up in either phones, computers. We wanna be able to get access and be in front of people, not just depend on email. Now, step number 11, this is really quite amazing and quite simple. Step number 11 is extended products and services. You know, the interesting thing is a lot of entrepreneurs we work with, even some of our higher end clients, they only have a couple of products and services. So they'll spend a lot of money to identify the avatar, start testing out the avatar, start testing ad creative, getting people into the funnel, following up with people into the funnel, following up with an upsell or a downsell, then the people don't want something, then they follow the blog for content. They're set, let me get back here. There's seven steps in, and then they'll just kind of send some content every once in a great while. Well, they've already spent a lot of money to get those seven steps. So let's make sure that we're using the insurance of email follow-up, ad retargeting, and that we're following up with both buys and non-buys. I mean, buys. I mean, I mean, Shecky's I mean, Shecky's for this few months, six months, a year that have said it was that one training. That's what really did it for me. And then I decided to join you at either one of our initial products or one of our higher end services as well, too. So the last part that we're going to cover inside the Smack Profit Factory is step number 12 is see, once you set up all these cold market ads, once you set up the retargeting now, especially Google and Facebook. Now they're going to be able to see exactly who's going to your website, age, demographic, location, if they use a cell phone, if they use a tablet. And many times with Facebook and Google, now you can find out because you've set everything up exactly who to target for your cold market and your remarketing. And that's when you set up the artificial intelligence that runs everything. You know, so many people are worried about, I got to optimize for the conversion pixel on Facebook, or I got to optimize for sales. You know, you can do all that, but a lot of people miss uh, and Shecky, I have a couple of stories about this, but you know, I want you to come up for some commentary. Um, but a lot of people miss some of these key points and they miss big on their numbers. And they could have a seven or eight figure business. 
they're not looking at the right numbers. And I can clearly see that they can scale their business like this. And they think they can only scale their business like this because they don't know where to look or where to follow up. So we want to be able to eliminate fear and really be able to show people the numbers of their business and how to scale as well. So Shecky, I know I went through that probably, you know, in, in a very quick amount of time. We're going to have handouts for people on the a Wednesday breakout session as well. But Shecky, comments, thoughts or comments, questions, thoughts from the group as well too. Shecky, I'd love to love to hear your thoughts, sir. <laughs> well, it's exciting. And obviously, uh, you know, in looking through that document, and I remember when we put that together and it was just kind of like this sort of, mind bender. So I want to, I want to just qualify what you guys are getting. I mean, that's, uh, it's an internal document and it, it really wasn't intended to be shared. So you guys are, that happen to be on this blab are getting in on some really inside stuff. Um, and it was, it was just the, the list that we put together when we really put our heads together of every little part and component, everything like that. So what I would say is, look, there's only so much time on a blab and this is a very conversational yeah. type thing. And I want about two minutes cause I've got a little political rant I want to give you in just a minute but um, political yeah well kind of because I, I I see some some issues going on here that are that are holding people back uh, but just come on Wednesday you know the link is down I don't know if I'm pointing in the right direction or if it's this way or that way but smag2.com forward slash webby and that will get you uh, a link to come to this breakout session and I spent a lot of time this week putting together the slides in such a way that this would really be something super meaningful because this is one of our most detailed trainings that we're ever going to do. And so that said, here, here's my commentary. And, you, you know, you touched on this earlier, Kurt, you talk about people that maybe like have a hard time being hung up and selling. And one of the things that I see and I don't know if this is just native to the United States or it's going on around the world, but there are people that somehow are down on capitalism, right? I mean, like it's, you know, like, they, and I don't know if it's like, okay, well, maybe there's clearly we know that there's some corporate greed and there's, and there's politicians being bought off and things, things like that. But if you really sit and think and look through history, almost every single thing that changed history, every bit of innovation came as a result of capitalists trying to build a better mousetrap and putting it out there to the world. That's how all of our progress has happened. Okay. So I want to tell you, if you're one of those people that's like politically on this thing, like, oh, capitalism's kind of bad and it's kind of wrong. And this is why I have, you know, sort of a problem just selling, selling, selling. Honestly, I'm going to call bullshit on you because if that's the way you feel, then honestly, I don't really think you have any business being part of this community because the reality is what we're doing here and what we stand for is to say, look, we're innovating. We're giving you every single step that you need to be successful. Now, on a, on a side note, and we've talked about this before, but psychologically, people would much rather buy than be sold to. But if you've got a good product market message idea, right, and you follow the steps that we're giving you right now, and definitely come Wednesday because we'll get much more detail than what you're getting today. But if you follow the steps that we're giving you, this is going to put your prospects in a position where they're very willing to buy, okay? And I want you to think about that in terms of sort of this bigger philosophy, being an entrepreneur, being a capitalist that puts out something good to the world, this is an extremely noble undertaking. You should not ever be down about this at all. This is something that it really takes people with balls to have this kind of calling to do that, right? And I'm sorry to be so blunt, but if you don't have the balls for it, fine, then step down. It's cool, right? But if you are the kind of man, ladies, I apologize for that. If you, it Maybe for you, it's a different body part. But if you are, if you have the gumption and you have what, what we would call chutzpah to really step up and do this, then we're, we can show you how to just template this and be extremely successful. You know, no excuses. And once you know what every step is, no more fear. But I think if you want yeah. to get rid of the excuses and get rid of the fear, you also have to adopt what your sort of bigger political philosophy is too. So anyway, I'm sorry for the big rant, but I just had to get that out. 
I completely understand, and I appreciate that. So, just a couple of things to add to it. It's, 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 it's. I think probably one of the best ways to say is frustrating. So, just, just a small little background. If you don't, if you don't know my story, like I graduated lower part of my class in high school. I didn't want to go to college because I wanted to be an entrepreneur, but I didn't have any of the skills to be an entrepreneur. Like I had no idea. So through a lot of trials and tribulations, which I know a lot of other people go through having no money, no credit, no friends, not knowing what the hell I was going to do. I found this online marketing thing. And really by applying simple math, like I told my teacher in algebra when they made me take algebra, I'm like, I'm going to hire an employee to do this. Like I'm never going to use algebra. This isn't complicated math, but it's like, it's one of these things in my opinion. And Shecky's heard me say this a thousand times. I'm like, look, if you want to travel the world, own your own business, do whatever you want to do. Like some people say that travel the world sounds sexy. Some people just want to stay home with their family, which is awesome. But it's literally a simple math problem. And it's frustrating for Shecky and I because it's like, look, you have a brilliant idea. You have a great product, service, and message. You have a great avatar. It's simple math to move you forward. So we know the way. We can see the way. We want to tell you the way. And we do tell you the way. And you don't do it. Mm. And when people tell me, they're like, Kurt, I just want to be an entrepreneur. Like, I just want, if I can just make $10,000 a month or whatever someone's number is, right? I want it to be believable, believable to you. But hey, I just want to make $10,000 a month. Great. If you sell a product that's $1,000, you just need to sell 10 of them. If you have a cost, then maybe you just need to sell 15. So you sell 15 products. Great. Shecky and I can help reverse engineer exactly how many clicks you need, how many opt-ins you need to make that happen. It's a math problem. So I feel deep internally, I know the process. I do a disservice if I don't tell people, here's the process, you can do it too. And when you feel that passion about your product, people buy more from you and they should because you're doing a great service to the world as well too. So feel that strongly about the product. And then I want to show you what has been, what I like to say, my however you want to say it is, my God-given gift is for some reason I see patterns and it's easier for me to teach people, hey, I figured something out, here's all you do. And now I have some of the smartest friends in the world, just like I was talking about the guy I was hanging out with on Saturday, completely blessed. Um, and I'm sharing with you exactly what they're doing. So we know the process. We've seen the process. It's worked. And we have lots of friends of very high net worth that has worked for well as well too and our clients. So it's literally just a step-by-step -step process that, that we are showing you exactly how to run this entire thing. So... Shecky, you know, there was a, a couple of stories I want to get into here just real quick, if you don't mind. You know, one of them was uh, someone that we had talked about who said that they wanted, for a perfect example, they said they wanted to double the size of their business. Remember this? They, they wanted to double the size of their business and they said, look, Kurt, I was paying somebody to before to run my social media, but I want to double the size of my business. And I go, okay. They go, Kurt, I was getting leads for $2 a lead. Great. And they go, they went to $4. We fired our person. We need to get leads cheaper. And she stopped running traffic. And I go, okay. What's your lifetime value of your customer for a year? We got to think of this as a business, not just did I spend $2 for a lead and they gave me $3 as soon as they opted in. Let's look at it for the year. She goes, oh, for the year, my average revenue per lead for the year is $36. And I go, let me get this straight. You put in $2 to make 36 and then you put in four dollars to make 36 and you want to double the size of your business you can buy leads for up to 15 dollars she goes no i want more leads and i go what do you want more leads or double your business she goes kurt i want to double my business and i go then you don't need more leads she goes but kurt my lead cost went up from two to four dollars i go it doesn't matter you maximize the leads on the back end you stop running traffic for four months to come find someone to get you cheaper leads. You don't need cheaper leads, you need more traffic. And it was that conversation where she realized, she's like, wait a minute, I can triple the size of my business with the way I'm getting leads for right now. And I was being, this wasn't her words, but I basically told her this. She was being greedy by trying to get so many leads at $2, she could serve the world and double her business if she focused on her message and her communication more than, hey, I'm only getting leads for $2. Right. You know, it's a it's it's a perfect example. Shaky, do you have any comments on that? I mean, it's a perfect well, example I, of someone thinking they know their numbers and they don't. Yeah, it's interesting because I I, I look at that in terms of maybe I'm just philosophical today, but <laughs> I look at that in terms of uh, it's a relativity argument versus a universality argument. So what I mean by that is she was looking at our leads in terms of the relative cost versus the previous cost. 
And in looking at it in a relative way, you, she completely lost sight of the big picture of the universality of it. And the reality is, I mean, the woman's making $36 on each lead. I mean, if it were me, I'd be paying up to 26 bucks for the leads, right? Because yeah, exactly. is, I know I can still be profitable. I know I can still get that out there and get my message. So, uh, you know, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be covering this week and over the next few weeks is really understanding, you know, it's kind of like what they say on some of those sports shows, like behind the numbers, right? Like you still have to have the, uh, the right philosophy when you look at the numbers, right? It's like, it's not just it's A plus B. And yes, I agree with you, Kurt, it's simple math, but you have to look at that math in relation to the big picture of what you're up to. And that right there is the key. Agreed. Agreed. I mean, the, the thing is, is a lot of people just, uh, so uh, Shecky and I were talking about this a, a bunch. And then my friend, Mike, that we were, I was talking to on Saturday is I'm just fascinated with fear because in lack of information, people make up stories in their own head that may or may not be real. And it holds them back. You know, let me give you a perfect example. You know, the second story, Shecky, that we had written down was about an individual. He goes, Kurt, I spent a thousand dollars on Facebook over the last 90 days. And I'm thinking, thousand dollars 90 days that roughly comes down to 333 dollars a month that's like ten dollars a day yeah it's not wow much. yeah yeah it's, it's it's not much at all and i go okay for ten dollars a day you spent a thousand dollars he goes yep i go what's your price product and he's like 47 dollars. and i go how many did you send sell he's like 10. And i go okay so you spent a thousand dollars and you made 470 bucks over three months he goes yep my cost per lead was about five bucks five or six bucks Okay, it's fine. So you're converting about 12%, 10%. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. Not too bad for cold market. And I go, but you have a loss. So the next question I have is then if you didn't sell it right out of the gate, not a problem. What's your follow-up? He's like, well, I got a couple of other follow-up processes, email, stuff like that. And I'm like, great. So what's that follow-up process exactly? He's like, well, I follow up a little bit. And I'm like, Shecky knows this word when people don't give me specifics. I go, specifically, what's your follow-up? He goes, I said, I send out 10 emails. He goes, on my 11th email, I offer a coaching program and it is $1,500. And I go, it's great. How many people bought it? He's like, well, 10 people bought it. And then I, and I go, wait a minute, 1,500 times 10 is $15,000. And he goes, yeah. So you put in a thousand, you made four, you made 470 because 10 people bought your $47 product. And then you made another $15,000. Why did you shut down traffic? And he goes, well, my lead cost went from five to ten dollars. So you put in a thousand dollars to make fifteen thousand, but you put in a thousand and you stopped running that money because your leads were costing five dollars and it went to ten. He goes, yes, and it's another prime example of someone who waited three months to tell me that story. And I'm like, like if I went out to the street, Shecky, I know that you are not the best guy at the maths, and neither am I. But Shecky, if you could find a place where you could put in $1,000 to make $15,000, how many times would you spend $1,000 to make 15 grand? As many as I freaking can. And he waited six months until I said those numbers. And he goes, yeah, but Kurt, you don't understand. He goes, those coaching sales didn't come from Facebook. They came from my follow-up. And I go, right. And where did those leads come from? He goes, well, they actually came from... Oh. And that's exactly how, like, all of a yeah. sudden, all these numbers connected into his head. And he's like, whoa, well, it's this a very profitable business, but he just didn't know. Yeah, and it's the same thing as the previous story, too. I mean, like, there, there's still this issue of looking at these numbers in a relative way to each other versus what's happening universally in the big picture of your business. So yeah. uh, it's, it, it's uh, both those stories are great because they really hammer this point home. So I'm, I'm glad yeah. you told both of them. But yeah, that, so if you guys get anything out of that on this blab, take that one home with you. Absolutely. Absolutely. So um, just I want to just say, I want to say one more thing because yeah, we talked about fear and I'm very excited. I don't want to give away too much, but you know, with the slides that we put together for Wednesday, we have a very, very special fear elimination exercise coming up in the in the Wednesday breakout session. So I'm not going to say anything more than that. If you want to see what's up with that, just come on Wednesday and you're going to have your mind really, really expanded. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, the name of the game is like, 
it's like I was, and, I, and some people have heard this story before. It's like when I was talking to my mom and I told her, you know, hey, last year, I'm like, I spent $270,000 in ads in like four months. And, you know, a lot of people are scared to spend $10, $15. Now, that doesn't mean that I had 270 grand in $100 bills that I just kept spending. What I did is I put in $100, made 110, put that 110 back in, made 125, put that 125 back in, then I made 90. Then I'm like, uh oh. And then I may learn how to make 110. And then it goes back and forth. And I started using the house's money. And then all of a sudden, I'm just focused directly on my daily numbers. What's my cost per opt-in? What's my average revenue per opt-in? Like, here's some questions that I'm going to help you answer on our breakout session. But once you can answer these questions, then it's not a big deal because pretty soon you start spending $200,000, $300,000, $500,000 a day. Once you look back, you spend $2,000 a day. Sounds like a lot of money, but if you bring in 2,500, then 2,000, then 2,500. And what ends up happening is you look back when you spend $2,000 a day, uh, that's 60 grand a month. But remember, keep in mind is it's not just 60 grand a month because you didn't put in just 60 grand. What you did is you put in, I just put the link back in there, Shecky. What you did is you're just spending the house's money over and over and over. So by the way, uh, someone else in here asked, are you using Facebook ads only or a combo blast on all platforms? Now, what we're talking about in the, uh, the profit factory here, it can be used for all platforms. So we use Facebook, we use Google, we use LinkedIn, we use Twitter, we use YouTube. What we found out was a lot of great information from running Facebook ads. But when we really looked at like the profit factory and the funnel and the content strategy, man, if we set up retargeting and we do content in the right way and we do a weekly call to action, well, the retargeting, the conversion pixels, all that stuff, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google, all that stuff becomes highly effective. So we want to be able to show the world and our profit factory of, hey, look, if you really run the right sequence and quantify the right sequence, it's really going to help you scale your business. So um, really the last thing that I have here, Shecky, um, before we uh, take off on this. So again, we encourage you to join the Webby. You're going to learn, I'm telling you, a lot of stuff on this web as we go through each one of the 12 parts. Now, remember, just as a recap, here's the way that this whole thing works. Now, if you enjoy anything that Shecky and I have said, make sure you give us props down here with the hands or if we've said anything smart whatsoever and make sure you follow Shecky and I on Blab um, and so you make sure you get our notifications every time that we have a Blab. Now, what ends up happening is, is remember every Sunday we release a new blog. If you want to know what our blog is, you can go to smag2, S-M-A-G dot com um, just smag2.com, that's socialmediaadgenius2.com, that's what SMAG stands for, and you can register to make sure you get updated on our weekly emails. Now, you're going to see our blog post. Every Monday, we're going to do a blab on a very specific topic. So next week, we're going to be talking about proof and how to make sure that we have proof throughout our entire funnel. Then we're going to spend 12 weeks covering each topic of the Social Media Ad Genius Profit Factory. And remember, all these recordings for blab, they're always going to be, li they're always going to be up in public. The breakout session that we have on Wednesday, where you see the link down here below, the breakout session on Wednesday, the recordings are only available to the general public until midnight on Saturday. Now, if you're a part of the social media ad genius family, if you're a part of our Facebook ad genius training, so social media ad genius is an in-depth Facebook training on strategy, how to scale. There's multiple videos in there. This is, again, a byproduct of over $7 million in Facebook ad spend. Now, Shecky, if you could do me a favor and put in the link in here, we always have the webinar, but if people are interested in joining the SMAG family and they want access to all these recordings, all the interviews I've done with some of my expert friends on YouTube, funnels, retargeting, survey, I have so many expert interviews. It's so much more bigger than just Facebook marketing, but we have a 30 day money back guarantee. We have tons of videos and templates where we walk people step by step on exactly what to do. Following this profit factory, and you, whether you use Facebook ads, Twitter ads, LinkedIn, it's huge. And anybody who joins the Social Media Ad Genius family by the end of the year is going to get free access to the Social Media Ad Genius Profit Factory when we, when we release it here in February of this year. So again, if you've enjoyed our content, make sure you follow Shecky and I. Go ahead and tweet or post us out on Facebook as well, too. Um, just love that you can be able to share. Really appreciate everybody here today. Shecky, do you have that link for people... Um, to join us for Social Media Ad Genius for the family, for anybody who's curious. Yeah, there I, just, I just posted the one. That's the one uh, for the for the monthly part of just being, uh, I wasn't sure which uh, link you want to be, but I put up the one where it's, if you can, it's the easiest way to get in because you can pay monthly. 
And no, there's a link checky that we have that has both offers on it. Okay. I don't know if I have uh, that Nick, link then. Uh, Nick has it. I'm Nick, not quite there sure. There he goes. Know. There he goes. There it is. Okay. Yeah, so perfect. if you guys look under the one that says tycoon trainer and see it says smag2.com forward slash offer, that's the one. Yep, absolutely. So I'm going to move this here just right here. That's perfect. So now what we have is you have you really have two different links in here. You either have the Webby that you can register for the deep dive, the deep intensive dive that's going to happen on Wednesday. And by the way, we do offer a recording for that Wednesday and that is, there is going to be a replay for that Wednesday broadcast that's available until Saturday. Now, if you're part of the Social Media Ad Genius family, again, you can see that link right there forward slash offer. We're giving an offer by the end of the year before we raise our prices to $997. And remember, you're going to get a copy of the Profit Factory that we're going to sell for $997. So if you want to jump in right now, see all the recordings, see exactly how we spent over $7 million on Facebook, why so many celebrities, reality TV stars, professional sports teams, speakers, authors, why do they use our services? doesn't matter if you have no experience on Facebook or if you're spending $5,000 a day. I unequivocally guarantee you will easily make your investment back. And if you don't feel you can do that within 30 days, I always give you a full money back guarantee. But I'm 100% confident in my product. Reason is I've had hundreds of testimonials from all over the world. I work with Shecky and Nick. I work with some of the best people in the world at providing the service. And I know that it works. So again, make sure you register for our breakout session. It's going to happen on Wednesday where we really go deep dive and answer your questions about the 12-step process of the Profit Factory. I'm telling you, if you set up the Profit Factory correctly and you're quantifying your information, within 90 days, your entire business and life will change. Because of the momentum, because of you running consistent ads, I'm telling you, hands down, 90 days, your entire business and life will change. I'm absolutely confident of it. So uh, make sure you sign up for the webinar. If you're not already part of the Social Media Ad Genius family, um, you know, join us under smag2.com uh, forward slash offer. Make sure you follow Shecky and I, and of course, tweet this out if you, uh, and post it on Facebook if you got some value. But Shecky, I know we're a little over on time. I am obviously just highly passionate about this. Any questions, comments, concerns, divine revelations, or any uh, final thoughts you have here? Well, my only final thought is, uh, you know, we're two, three days away from Christmas. When is Christmas? Thursday. Uh, yeah. And so, you know, it's a time of year when, you know, everybody gets a little bit more family oriented and philosophical. And I, uh, I just want to say I'm, I'm thankful. I'm very thrilled to be part of, uh, you know, the uh, social media ad genius family and, and being supportive and getting able to work with you and Nick and Tom. It's, uh, it's truly a blessing. And I want to say to everybody else that's out there, I just want to wish you guys just an incredibly fantastic holiday. And if you are not part yet part so many of you on this call are already members of the smag family and that's great because i recognize some of the names but if you're not already probably the greatest gift you could give yourself for yeah. christmas this year is to come join be part of this family because we've got some we haven't even told you about half of the stuff we've got under our sleeve for 2016 but um, it's going to be a very, very big year. Do not listen to the BS of the media telling you that capitalism is bad. Do not listen to the BS of the media telling you that the economy is down, whatever. We're rocking it, and we want you to come along for the ride. So, again, happy holidays to you and many blessings, and, and uh, we really appreciate you and love you. Absolutely. I love you guys too. Can't wait to see the family members. Really appreciate you. Can't wait to have you guys as part of the family as well too. And you know, one of the biggest things is, is we always really like to reward people who take action. So one of the most fun and interesting things that we get to do is really influence lives and, and really help people see change. So become part of the family, become part of the movement. Uh, make sure you join us for the breakout session this Wednesday. Uh, or go ahead and join the family on now. Other than that, I love and appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for spending an hour with us and investing an hour of your time. Shecky, thank you very much. See thank you, you all brother. You guys have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. All right, bye.